Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So Sniper Elite 4 just got an update for Apple devices and the most important feature is 60 FPS support for M2 and M4 iPad. So today we're going to have a look at it on uh, M4 iPad Pro and also my uh, M2 iPad Air. And yeah, that's it. Enjoy it. So first I thought it was important to have a look at the M4 iPad version of Sniper Elite 4, because this one has uh, quite a few different uh, new features. First of all, it now has mouse and keyboard support, which works great. However, what I found is that if you're using a Magic Keyboard like me, you need to go into settings and disable the following setting. Where is it? Uh, trackpad and mouse, disable tap to click because I found this means uh, external mouses like my Bluetooth mouse here won't work. So make sure that's disabled. Anyway, um, it also has tessellation enabled for M4 iPad Pro. So the game just looks a lot more crisp because that's kind of what tessellation does. Anyway, if we go into settings, we now have an option to target 60 FPS. Okay, so here we are in game. Yeah, let's uh, just do some stuff. And this is with mouse and keyboard as well. Now, what we want to what we want to be having a look at is the GPU section. In order to be getting a lock 60 FPS, we want to be hitting under 16 MS in the GPU section, which will provide a very nice 60 FPS output. And that's what it's doing right now. I think it's also worth are taking a look at the memory usage when playing at these settings because it's only using upwards of 5 gig of RAM, which is wonderful. Oh, I shot. That's lovely. Please be a testicle shot. Yes! <laughs> Testicle shot! Beautiful. Okay, so I've only played like a little bit of this level, but it, it looks to be running quite well here. Ammo's almost down empty. Oh, that person. I'm just gonna kill this person. And mouse and keyboard support is working wonderfully. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okie dokie, I've loaded up a new campaign level. And let's see if it can maintain 60 FPS. And spoiler alert, it can. Have to find Richter and deal with him. Still, memory usage is very good. GPU usage is upwards of 15 at the moment, which is also really good. Just got obliterated. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not the best at this game, guys, so I don't really know how to play very well. But that was the M4 iPad Pro. It runs absolutely beautifully there. It is worth noting that the game is being upscaled from about 1080p, but in this update, it definitely does look visually a little bit better. Um, and yes, the game does use uh, Metal FX Spatial, um, gosh, God, I can't see where I'm being shot from, but because it's being upscaled from 1080p, which is still a pretty decent resolution, it does look okay. Okay, so here we are on my M2 iPad Air, and uh, I, kicked, I kicked something, and I'm playing this one with a controller. Now, 
What's interesting about this update is that the game now supports haptics on uh, uh, modern controllers, I suppose, which is really cool. You can, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you can kind of feel more vibrations than with normal rumble support on, um, on a controller. What's missing though is adaptive triggers. So for example, if I was using my DualSense controller and uh, I would zoom in, you would be able to feel that sensation, if that makes sense. And I'm also noticing the frame rate's dropping right now. Um, and, and sadly, that's not here. Yeah, as I'm noticing right now, this is uh, having some issues with the frame pacing. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. And uh, let's take note of the GPU section. We want to make sure that the device is hitting under 16 MS. And at times it is having issues, which is probably providing these inconsistent results with the frame pacing. This device is also using less RAM than my M4 iPad Pro, lower than four gig, which is very interesting. Um, I would take note though that this is probably because this device is not using tessellation while the M4 iPad Pro is, so that's probably why the RAM usage is higher there. Who's shooting me? Oh, it's you. Nice. Hopefully this gives us a good look at some frame pacing issues. Oh yeah, there we go, down to 49 FPS. So I think also this is probably a good example of why only M2 and M4 iPad Pro support this preset or this mode because it's obviously not perfect here. So I don't imagine like on an iPhone 16 Pro or an iPhone 16 or 15 that it would be able to hit a lock 60. All right, so I've loaded up a different campaign level. I want to see if the frame rate hits 60 FPS here. Look at that. The Germans have got themselves an impressive operation. Quite a bit worse actually than the other level I was looking at. I've got no <laughs> I don't know where anyone I don't know where anyone is. I'm sorry people, I just I'm not very good at this game. How do I heal? There we go. I just need to heal. I will say the smoke does look, oh my gosh, <laughs> the smoke does look very good in this game. So yeah, it looks like, oh my god, I'm about to be sniped. It looks like only the M4 iPad Pro is able to pull off a lock 60 FPS with this game. And the... Uh, the M2 iPad Pro or iPad Air, um, the iPad Pro might be a little bit better. I don't know, um, but I don't think it, I don't know if it'll be that dramatically different than than the Air. Um, but yeah, the Air has some issues. So I just want to very quickly jump over to the Mac version of this game. This is running on my M4 Mac Mini with 16 gig of RAM. There are a few uh, little updates with the Mac version that I thought would also be of interest to you. Uh, for starters, one of the biggest things, and it's a small thing, but it, it's very helpful. The game now actually applies the correct resolution in game, if that makes sense. For example, um, because in the past, in order for it to properly reflect in game, you had to do it within system settings, but now it's actually working in game correctly. And well, it's being represented correctly in the, in the, in the metal HUD. And the Mac version also now has foliage animation, uh, which makes the game look 
honestly a lot more lively than before. And it's not really mentioned in the patch notes, but uh, shadows look considerably better. They're more sharp and just everything animates correctly with, with movement, you know, with the foliage. It's also interesting um, is that now kind of the M4 iPad Pro version is more closely on par with the M4 Mac version. This machine still obviously is outperforming that one considerably. I mean, this is running at 1440p, uh, I think, uh, Ultra. So while the uh, iPad version is locked down to to its own settings, you can't change anything apart from that 60 FPS mode. So this one is, yeah, dramatically better. But having 60 FPS support on M4 iPad Pro is just, yeah, no, it's a, it's a real treat. I asked Nat Brown, who used to work at Apple, to explain the uh, GPU section and the HUD a bit more to me, and uh, he, he explained it really well, and I, th I thought I'd share it in this video. So he said, the GPU field is an approximation of how much time the GPU was busy during a frame. So at 60 hertz, there is 16.6 milliseconds of time that the GPU could be doing work. If it is spending two milliseconds, the GPU is not very busy. If it's spending 20 milliseconds of time, then likely the frames are skipping because the GPU can't get all of its work done in the 16.6 milliseconds needed for 60 hertz. Okay, so uh, that was Sniper Elite 4 and its update on uh, Apple devices. Bit of a look at the 60 FPS mode on iPad and it didn't see a bit of a look at, uh, at the uh, update on Mac and some of the new features there and so forth. So yeah, uh, if you if you uh, want 60 FPS for this game, it looks like you need to have the uh, uh, M4 iPad Pro for a lock 60 because uh, perhaps the M2 iPad version doesn't actually provide a lock 60. Uh, I don't think 60 FPS for this title is probably possible for iPhone. Uh, may maybe it is, I, I don't know, it's just uh, this game, even though it's quite old, is it's still uh, pretty demanding. And a lot of people compare it to like Resident Evil 7 and say, that game can get 60 FPS on, on iPhone, why is this running at 30? But, you know, they're completely different games, it's not fair to compare them. This is more of an open world game, bigger, bigger maps. RE7 is a, a much more closed down experience, it's easier to pull off that type of performance honestly i don't know like i'm just a random guy on the internet making assumptions it's more the developer rebellion who knows what uh, each device is fully capable of they've got the tools they've got the game in their hands they can test it you know we can make all of our predictions but it's it's them that, that really know and yeah that's basically all I have to say, thank you so much.